Um, I would, yeah, I mean, like, so if in talks of like a lot of them are immigrants, like a lot of our parents have, they came from um, Eritrea, like usually, like, I wouldn't say like, um, I guess it's different for every family member, but we, so Eritrea got its independence in 1991. So it's fairly kind of like, you know, you know, in the recent like 30 years or so. Um, so a lot of them had escaped from war at the time, or, you know, if they were lucky through like, um, you know, scholarships or just like, you know, um, visas, visas and green and all that, they were able to leave, bef um, you know, earlier than that. But a lot of them are immigrants here and they, you know, whether that be in California or what, wherever in the West Coast or anywhere in America, um, that's usually like the story of like whether escaping war, or, like wanting to like build a future for their families and mm -hmm. come to America, and yeah. Wait, so there there was a war going on. Yeah, yeah. against um against with Ethiopia. Oh, uh, when was that? Um, it's been going on. It's, oh, it's ongoing. Well, yeah, but then they were like Eritrea was able to get its sovereignty in nineteen ninety one. Okay. Yeah, but even now there's like, it's all it's kind of unrelated, but like it's there's still actually a war going on right now. That's like unrelated. Border. Like yeah, like border. Yeah, exactly. Mm, oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. But, so so a lot of a lot of people fled because of that reason to America. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah. But the population in er Eritrea is primarily Orthodox, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, but. I want to say like, like there's a really high population in like in the like Muslim religion too. So like it's, mm -hmm. I want to say, I've, like, I've heard the like, like I know online it's people say fifty fifty, but like talking to like other people, um, like family and stuff, they would say like probably eighty twenty, like seventy thirty, orthodox. Which or, way? Like seven, like primarily orthodox, like even still. Mm. Like even with the Muslim population. Okay. Yeah. And when you meet Eritreans here, like, is it assumed that they're Orthodox? I would say, I mean, kind of, but I feel like not as much as like if we were back home. If we were back home, I bet like nine times out of ten, like walking down the street, you could probably assume yeah. that. Back but like home, here, like Northern California, or like oh no, back home meaning like Adi, like yeah, Adi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like. <laughs> But um, like at least in LA, like there's actually a big like Protestant um, population. Oh, interesting. Kinda, yeah. Immigrants too, or, or yeah, like second, like, third generation. Well, I would probably say immigrants as well, but more like I'd meet more like younger generation kids that are Protestant than like the older ones. As in, like they're part of like a like a white Protestant church, or like there's no, like a, it, a rich usually like Protestant. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there is? Mm hmm Oh, interesting. Hmm. But in, like, the Bay Area, like, in Northern California, I want to say, like, um, typically, like, if you encounter, like, an Eritrean person, like, they're usually Orthodox. Like, yeah. And second gen, like, it's kind of, like, the, the norm. Yeah. Say. I'm just speaking about, like, coming, like, in L.A., like, that's what I've noticed. But back home, like, in the Bay Area, yeah. I'd agree. Okay. And do you meet like outsider community is it common for you to meet other Eritrean orthodox people uh, not really like no. if you mostly people from like your church or like other churches in the area okay 